Hello, 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 you sexy little fuckers. 15 days out from my first ever bodybuilding show. I sincerely hope all is well. You know what I'm doing. I'm wearing the old shitty Monster Factory jumper, which apparently I, I do not ever wash. Um, and I just let it stink and wear it every time I do cardio. Um, so we're off to do cardio, which I've just literally just mentioned, um, which is fantastic. And I'm chatting waffle. It's like 25 seconds. Yeah, it's going well. Um, but yeah, off to do cardio. You sit there, you dwell on it for ages, you think, fucking hell, I can't be bothered to do it. Just do it. You're sitting here now watching me do your bloody cardio. Or if you are doing your cardio right now, fair fucking play to you. Make sure you get your head down, make sure you kill it. Wise words from George is AM. Fucking kill your cardio, you cunt. There we go. We. Um, but no, honestly, thank you for all the support. Um, typical day in the life of, of me, 15 days out. I hope that you enjoy the content and stuff like that. Um, so, so let's get on with the shitty cardio and get it over and done with. You already know what I'm doing. It's quite straightforward. 30 minutes on the Stairmaster, level 12. I always like to mention level 12 because I work bloody hard for that. People do ask me how I've been doing that uh, or how, how do I do level 12. I've been doing it for seven months now, the Stairmaster, three, four times a week. If I can't do it by now, I'd be fucking pissed off, basically. So what I'm trying to say is, over time, you're gonna get better. You're gonna get better, and you probably won't even realize it half the time that you're actually gonna, oh shit, I can actually probably improve my, increase my intensity of the cardio, or whatever it may be. Um, but that's a, a different story, I'm, I'm waffling there. Cardio time, motherfuckers. Just keep going, George. I feel like I'm ready to fucking mug someone in the gym. Just keep going. Thirty minutes done. Uh, this cardio machine is broke. Tell me I burn 180 calories. If I burn 180 calories on the machine, I'd be fucking livid. But that's it done. The yeah, mind's been taken out, of course. So it's a lot harder. Like I find that my elevate, my heart rate isn't as elevated nowhere near compared to uh, what it was originally. Of course, with the uh, the fat burner, that is going to do that. But yeah, going to get some steps in now, the usual kind of shit. Level 12 on the Stairmaster, 30 minutes, roughly about 400 calories. At me, beat me, please do. Dragging myself. Look how far the gym is. <laughs> I park all the way up here. I look like I'm honestly gonna fucking kill someone, which is uh, don't fuck with me, all right, sort of thing. But that's cardio all done. 30 minutes on the stairmaster level 12, and then 30 minutes of an incline walk. I progress it every 10 minutes on the incline. So I start off at six, then I go to seven after 10 minutes, then I go to eight after 20. No, I start off at six and then do 10 minutes at six. I'll do between 10 and 20, seven incline, then between 20 and 30, I'll do eight incline, and the speed is 6.2, believe it or not. I've increased it by 0.2, which is fantastic. But yeah, that's all done. A little bit of ab work to finish, and, and then a little bit of that massage chair, which is fantastic, by the way. Well, why not try and, I sat here for like two minutes, and I was just thinking, I haven't provided any value at all in this vlog already, so value is coming right now from cardio. How, cardio hacks, quite, cardio tips there's not really much to it just get it fucking done is, is my kind of thought process but how can we make it more efficient how can we make it quicker is one of course keep your mind busy so what i normally do is i normally actually go through like instagram or i'll kind of fill out a, i'll write like a post which i'm writing on instagram later or something like that, that I, I always find that my time goes a lot quicker when i when i'm thinking about what i can write in a post or i fill out my fitness pal or something like that little bits and bobs to keep my mind busy as well as that you can watch youtube videos i always listen to a podcast as well in the background so i'm always trying to educate myself uh, anything like that which keeps my mind busy because once you start thinking about the time fucking hell does the time go slow so cover up the time if you have to keep your head down if you have to and just get on with it from like actually performing the cardio remember what like use the muscles which you don't rely on which you don't connect with so for example the Stairmaster a lot of people do not use their glutes and hamstrings a lot of people just assume it's very quad dominant but trust me you need to utilize your glutes are your biggest fucking muscles in it well biggest muscle in the body so utilize it and it's going to make your cardio so much easier so my thought process when i'm taking each step is i'm actually kind of pressing down so i'm engaging my hamstrings i'm contracting my glutes as well very important so if you understand master right now just try it 
press down press down contract your glutes contract your hamstrings you're going to find that it's a lot more easier for you to actually do the fucking stairmaster instead of being on your tiptoes thinking it's all quad dominant getting some mad fatigue what else is there any other advice no just get your head down suck it up and fucking get on with it <laughs> there are there, there's plenty more advice out there those are the uh the, the the couple which i can think of at the top of my head actually engage the muscles yeah, whilst you're fucking and you'll find that you'll you'll improve drastically like i said in my recent vlog the Stairmaster I think has really contributed to my leg development over this prep because I believe it or not I didn't think I used to have glutes I used to think my glutes were tiny even AJ when I first started my prep test he said my glutes are awful but my glutes are one of my strongest body parts at the moment I've got some big old like big batty in it <laughs> two and a half minutes Christ but hopefully you took some value from that came into Tesco's and I'm not really sure why I came in it has anyone ever done that like you've gone to a supermarket and you're thinking what the fuck am I actually doing here? What do I need? It's the situation right now. I don't know why I'm in here. I've got myself a basket for what? I've got everything. I went shopping last night. Strange one. So I did actually pick up a few bits. Nothing fucking crazy. You've probably all seen this before. Well, you definitely have seen this before. Three packs of asparagus, as you can see. Three packs for four pound get straight on that a little bit more girthier than what i wanted peru and not doing bits at the moment They're a little bit girthy these ones they will do they will do got some organic um kale because i'm trying to save the planet but then again buying plastic bottles these were on offer two for like one pound fifty hardly saving the planet really am i but there we go and we also picked up deodorant so this is the deodorant it's a men care sport you can't even see it what's going on there we go. 48 hour, 48 hour powerful protection. There's no, that's a load of bollocks. That is a load of bollocks. When they advertise that, like like 72 hours, like 72 hours, I'm gonna smell absolutely pengers. That is never the case, is it? You never smell that deodorant. I barely ever smell the deodorant like 10 minutes after putting it. And I'm fucking 48 hours, 48 hours. A load of bollocks. People, what? How can they get away with putting that stuff? That's a load of shit. Yeah. Hmm. So the boy I want to couple up with. Oh. No. You wankers. So with Love Island, I made the ba a bad move this morning. I went on Twitter. We know that Love Island on Twitter literally makes Love Island 10 times better. And I know who she's picked already. Stupid move, going on Twitter this morning. I know exactly who Amber picked. Fucking stupid, George. That was a, as I say in my Scottish accent, that was a bad move. A bad, bad move. Okay. Jeez. She made the right decision. She made the right decision. Look at everyone's face. <laughs> she made the right decision. Meiji. Michael. Yeah, you, you fucking wanker. That's what you get. That's calm. On my way to a push session. Now, as I'm getting really close to the show, just over, well, just under over two weeks now, I've really kind of stopped taking MV Bree and stims, well, too many stims, because with the BMBF and some particular federations, like especially natural federations, they ban particular ingredients in some pre-workouts, which is stupid. Like, there's some, there's something in MV Bree which is banned, apparently, which is frustrating because I don't get how they work that out, you know? Like, I don't get how this extract or this African tree berry is gonna, you know, make you superior compared to others. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. So you really wanna be on the safe side. Imagine me doing like a 30 week prep and failing a fucking drugs test or something like that when it comes to competing or failing a polygraph or whatever it may be. I'd be fucking fuming. So I keep to, yeah, I keep to the caffeine tablets. They work really, really well. These ones are from my protein. They're called Caffeine Pro. Each tablet has 200 milligrams of caffeine in it, which, which, is, which, is, which is totally fine with me. So if you're not into your coffees, not into your pre-workouts, or don't want anything like that, because you know you're gonna be... For me, if I have a coffee sometimes, I, I just piss for England. These, these are really good. And if you don't like coffee, some people don't fucking like coffee, which is strange. But there, there you go. These is something which I'd recommend. Going into my push session, not really kind of expecting much if I'm honest with you. It's not a, a session I crazy, crazy enjoy at the moment. My, my progress isn't amazing, especially with presses as I mentioned previously. So going into that session with no real expectations allows me to not get disappointed when I drop the loading or I don't perform as well as what I do because we always kind of have that build up like, oh my God, I've got to do this to 
today, I've got to do that. You kind of set yourself expectations, but so much goes into why you are lifting what you are on this particular day and all that type of shit. So going in, no real expectations, gonna enjoy it, try and get a nice pump, try and get some photos post-workout, because you know, having a chest pump is uh, makes you look about 10 times fucking bigger than what you are. And we're just gonna go with the flow. Go with the flow, and it's okay just to go with the flow. So let's fucking do it. Nut is in the game. Fuck off, everyone else. I don't know where I'm going with that. <laughs> Look at this piece of shit in front of me. I hate bikers like this, they're just fucking annoying. Like, what is that? It sounds like a piece of, I don't know if you can hear it. It sounds fucking dreadful. Look at the size of the fucker on it as well. I'm surprised he bloody could drive that piece of shit. But saying that, I'm driving a piece of shit too. We're in this together, my brother. Hello, you sexy little cunts. Welcome back to uh, another voiceover, which I'm going to try and provide some sort of value in instead of me just going, oh, I'm trying to load of fucking shit, because that's what I do, you know, three quarters of these vlogs and, and across this whole entire prep. So I sincerely hope um, you enjoy just me chatting waffle. What I'm going to do within this voiceover is I'm actually going to go over the diet hacks. Now you're going, oh, you've copied Josh Bridgman. You've done this, you've done that. Yes, yes, I have. And guess what? I don't give a fuck. Uh, I've got to make some content somehow and uh, I look up to people that are bigger and better than me and I look why are they bigger and better than me and uh, sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. Anyway, good luck to Josh uh, Bridgman who is competing today. Um, hopefully you do well, mate. I've called this before you've uh, competed. Anyway, I'm chatting, chatting a load of shit there as fucking usual. So um, diet hacks. My number one important factor which I take into consideration, I've got five things which I've written down here. Number one is food volume. Now, I've had clients come to me, I've had clients in the past, complain that they're hungry, and I look at their diet, and they are eating protein bars. They're fucking eating, you know, protein bars, like 20 grams of carbs, 20 grams of protein, 10 grams of fat. You could easily replace that with a meal that's gonna fill you up a little bit more. So food volume for me is very, very important. Like implementing, for example, egg whites, egg whites, uh, kale. These are things which you can create a lot more food volume from. Very straightforward. I, I, the amount of t people I see, oh, I'm hungry, but I'm eating protein bars every single fucking day. Well, there you go then, you know what I mean? So yeah, little. sometimes people need that kind of, oh shit, yeah, I didn't realize that. Sometimes people need that kind of, I don't know what the word or term is, is used, but if someone could let me know in the comments down below they need kind of referring that's definitely not that word jeez i'm just gonna shut up and leave it there so food volume is my main important factor create more volume within your um within your meals which are going to fill you up a lot more Number two I've written down here is smaller eating window slash fasting. I think this is a really good way of doing things. Like for me, I fast, like I've just ate my first meal and it's 11 o'clock in the morning. I reduce the timing that I eat or, or window that I eat. So it allows me to kind of eat more frequently every two to three hours, for example. Uh, unless I'm really, really busy and I know that, you know, I've got things to do and uh, I, I can space it out a little bit. But when I'm a lot more food focused and haven't really got much going on during the day, especially on a rest day, they're always boring as fuck i mainly try and fast for as long as i can um and it allows me to like i said get 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 that smaller window in um so smaller time smaller eating window and fasting is something which i would definitely implement and i've done this throughout the entire throughout my whole entire prep where i kind of do my work within the morning or whatever it may be then i will push my meals back later on a day when i'm more hungrier because i find that my appetite isn't necessarily as high in the mornings compared to the evening so my biggest advice is eat the bigger meals in the evening very straightforward um so so yeah that is number two Number three is keeping busy. So what a lot of people do is, is uh, we've all been there, we count down the hours of fucking, yeah, I've got two hours and 20 minutes to my next meal. Always the worst thing to do. So keeping busy. So what I'm doing right now is I've literally just ate my pre-workout meal and now I'm recording this. So I'm keeping my mind busy. I'm keeping very, like, I'm doing something. I'm not just sitting around going, oh, fucking hell, I've got another couple of hours to eat the next meal, whatever it may be. So again, keeping busy. Always know what you are going to be doing after you're cooking food, uh, eating food. The worst thing is when you're, you know, you're, 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 you're oh my God, you're, 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 you are your hungriest when you are 
for example, doing fuck all. I always find that my clients, you know, uh, they've said to me, oh, look, I'm doing fuck all right now and I'm really, really hungry. Go for a walk, keep your mind busy, do something. And then when, once your mind's busy, you'll find that you actually forget about food a little bit more. So that's another word of advice from the Georgie boy. Number four, I've got chew your food. A lot of people do not chew their food properly. They're just rushing, eating and, you know, going, uh, going and doing something else. Well, I don't know what the fuck they're doing. But chew your food. Really sit down, enjoy it, enjoy your food food take your time eating your food like it takes me 20 25 minutes to eat some days um and i just sit there and enjoy my food allow it to digest properly um this is me posing by the way um i'd love to know your thoughts in the comments down below <laughs> um and the teaspoon trick i i use the good old tea teaspoon trick as well i like the good old teaspoon trick people ask me yeah, like why do you use the teaspoons because it's going to give me more mouthfuls which is going to fill me up a little bit more and it takes it makes me take my time eating my food if, if that makes any fucking sense and number five suck it up you know me i'm a bit of a fucking miserable fucker at the moment especially on prep bit harsh when i say things just suck it up remember this dieting phase is a choice no one's putting a gun to your head and going look motherfucker you need to be doing this you need to be doing that it's free choice you can eat off your fucking diet if you really wanted to but you don't want to be doing that because that's stupid so suck it up it's a choice, remember, no one's putting a gun to your head and just get on with what you want to do. And the people that are, you know, strong minded will get through the, the daunting, ugly phases of, of a diet phase. So though, those are a few of my tips. I hope all is OK. Let us know your thoughts and your tips in the comments down below. Another very, very good session. Uh, very, very good. I've got that feel good factor endorphins from finishing that session progress numbers upon last time i trained at that particular gym um of course that is my 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 main gym now my main base uh, i've spoken about that previously in regards to environment and just how it makes me feel and uh, especially being on prep and stuff like that I, I love the environment which it provides it's just something which i which i very much need right now uh, but yeah really really happy despite uh, previous sessions i've really regressed my dumbbell movements just over time it's got progressively worse which is expected but this week i managed to actually progress numbers which was fantastic and uh, i found that sweet spot when it comes to training because i've been training around about midday lately half 11 midday and uh, i've been really really enjoying it like my energy is very good i feel good i'm not that sluggish kind of sitting around moping kind of just have you ever been to been to the gym and you're kind of just sitting there daydreaming like what the fuck am I doing here? I haven't had that type of feeling which was great. So I found my sweet spot for when I'm training and that always changes. Like when I was at uni I used to love training at like six, seven o'clock, even eight o'clock at night. Now I think I would there's no chance in hell I would train at that time of night because I'm ready for bed at eight o'clock at night. Um, and when I was at uni I used to think about people training like half eleven, eleven o'clock in the morning. I think how the fuck do people do that I, I, could, I could do that but you kind of almost train your body so if I trained at a particular time I'd probably get used to it um, so my sweet spot right now is definitely like half 11 midday saying that now it's four o'clock I started training at half past 12 and it's now four o'clock uh, I did some posing towards the end anyway so I uh, spent about a good half an hour posing and taking photos etc all that type of shit but thoroughly good is thoroughly very good <laughs> very good session I also picked up two packets of these for four pound in um, Tesco's Express in Tesco's Express it was one packet for three pound fifty and two packets for um, four pound and I was like well I'm gonna get two packets then didn't I fucking hell like I don't know why they bother doing that. Like, who fixed that offer? Like, oh, you know what? We're just going to sell one box for four, three pound fifty, and then we're just going to put an offer up for two for four pound. They're trying to get rid of the fuckers. So I got some white chocolate, cocoa pops, and also picked up some mushrooms, which is I'm sure you don't really want to show you some mushrooms. But a fairly good session. I'm very happy. My barber gave me this the other day. I don't know if you can see that. It's basically like a. I was going to put it in my mouth then, but I'm not going to do that on camera because that's slightly weird. My barber gave me this, it's basically like a lollipop, but it's in the shape of a penis. I was like, what the fuck am I going to do with this? I'm not going to fucking eat this. So we're going to give it to the missus because we're, we're not having any action at the moment because of course, you know, I'm on prep and my penis just wants to go, my penis on stage will literally be that size. Probably even smaller than most of you. Um, so I want to give it to the missus. I don't even know why the fuck I'm telling you this. 
But I sincerely hope you've enjoyed today's video. Two fucking weeks out. Let's do this. Let's bloody do this. I'm excited. It's gone quick. Like I remember 20 weeks ago thinking, ah, oh, you know, I'm fucking 22 weeks out. Ah, oh, it's ages away. I'm not really giving a fuck. Now I'm two weeks out shitting myself. So that's going to be, I'm not, I am shitting myself, but. I'm fairly, I'm, I'm confident as well, which is great. Comment down below bowl if you've watched the whole thing. Here's my oat bowl and here's my teaspoon trick. Like I said, big bowl, well, bowl, creating more volume in my oats. I use 900 milliliters of oat, uh, water with my oats, creating more volume, which is gonna fill me up a little bit more. I've got my spoon here as well, my teaspoon, more mouthful, etc. Comment down below bowl if you watched the whole thing. I just love chatting shit. I will see you guys in the next one. And if you guys wanna see, comment down below, message me on Instagram, all that type of stuff, and um, yeah, I'm fucking, just go, just go, bye, bye, love you.